Jesus Christ, my toe hurts. <laughs> you are fool. <laughs> hey guys, we're the Power Up Princesses. I'm Annie. I'm Juliana. And we're playing Bloodborne! Yay! Yay! I don't play Unraveled. No. Actually, playing that game late at night makes me crazy. Yeah. Okay, I don't know where we were last time, like, because we went somewhere. Didn't you die one hit to someone? Oh, Jesus! Jesus! No. No, that, wait, that was like 12 episodes ago. Wait, who did I die to? You, I, it was a long time ago, but it was one night. That guy with the No, the no, I died to somebody thing. last time, I remember. Right? Because I have, no, I had. No, no, you just sat down by the lantern. No, that was, that was when we went to eat dinner. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know, I can't remember. Guys, comment where I was last time. <laughs> No, because I lost my echoes. See how I only have, like, a few right now? Yeah. Because I must have lost them somewhere. Well, now you have 245. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I started... I I bought some stuff, right? I, I went... I have no idea. Okay, sorry, guys. That was several hours ago. Don't know what's going on. Yeah, we went somewhere for two hours between... Episodes. Yeah. But this is the same session, in theory. Yeah, like, it's the same day, but, yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 ow, ow, ow. Is this the highest brightness for the game? Uh, no. I like having, even when games say, like, oh, keep, make sure the image, like, on the left is visible, but the, the, the background color isn't. Yeah. I'm like, mm, no, I'm turning all the way up. <laughs> Yeah, I normally do that. Um, this one is slightly higher. Yeah. Because I never do it all the way up. I do it, like, just slightly higher. Yeah. Um, and this one... Oh, I remember where we were. Cool. Yeah. This one, we... I, like, turned it up just a couple notches higher, and it stays for, like, all of them. Mm -hmm. Like, all your files. Whoa. I mean, you can change it, oh. but that's why we didn't have anything that, like, mm -hmm. had something to change. So I remember where I was, so we're going to go there. Okay. Okay. We, um, during the two hours that we were gone, we watched a movie. What was it called? Sister, Sister? No. <laughs> sister. Sister. Sister! Do you remember that show? Nope. Oh. Um, sister. Um, like, I remember that I thought it, it no, it, I remember that I thought it was, um, sissy. No, no. What, what, what are the things? Oh. What? I thought it was sissy cataracts. <laughs> Why? Because Billy said it really weird. And I thought maybe it was about, like, a trans woman who got cataracts in her eyes or something. That's weird. But what was the movie called? Yeah, I think it was called, like, it was, like, Sister Show or something like that. No. It, Sister it, Show 2. It, it, it sounded like... similar to S Sissy Cataracts. Yeah, because, no, I remember, I remember it because the beginning, like, the, uh, in the very beginning there was a marquee sign. Yeah. And it had the title of the movie minus the, the two. Yeah. Um, on the marquee sign. I don't know. So it was, like, a show. I can't remember. Um... Anyways, uh, it, you guys have probably seen it. I, I've seen part of it before, but uh, at the beginning of the movie, I didn't recognize the name or anything, but I recognized the characters, and I recognized them all being together, mm -hmm. like, as a group, and I knew that I hadn't seen the first one, mm -hmm. and so when I was sitting there, I was like, God, what movie are these people <laughs> from? And I was so confused, because I was like, how could there be two movies with the exact same actors playing the exact same people? Uh-huh. And then I was like, about halfway through this movie, this one scene came up that I recognized. And I was like, it's this movie. <laughs> They're from that movie. They're from the movie that we're watching. <laughs> Blew my mind. Um, so it was about, like, this... I had never seen it before. Um, but everybody else that I was with, like, even Dylan, he said that he had, he thinks that he had seen it before. I had no idea it existed. Mm -hmm. But it was really good. It was about, like, um, this, w about Whoopi Goldberg. Well, it wasn't about her. It was but, about Whoopi Goldberg. No. It, she played the main character, and, like, 
um, her nun friends asked her to come teach at um, like their the school, um, and she was like starting her music career. So she was like, I don't know how I feel about this, but then she's like, Yeah, sure. And inevitably, it was like the school of rock plot. It was like any school movie plot. Yeah. Because like last year, like it was like, Oh, we're tough, and then and then she was like wow, really? I'm badass, too. And then they were like, oh, shit. Yeah, but, yeah. like, those movies are still, like, satisfying to watch. Yeah. Um, last year, for a French National Honor Society movie party that we had, mm-hmm. oh, dang it, he seriously fell right on the thing. Like, every single... Was that the one with your blood things? Blood it goes? No, no. Oh. He just has... He just has a, uh, item. Oh. I killed him, and he and his corpse fell down. Oh. His corpse has an item, but it fell in a really inconvenient spot. It's really irritating. But last what year, what is for going the... on with the frame rate there? For a second, it was really weird. Oh, it does that sometimes. Um, last year for the FNHS movie party that we had, mm-hmm. uh, the French National Honor Society thing. Did you get it? Yeah. Oh. We watched a movie almost identical to that. Where it was, like, this guy who came to this school, and they were, like, eight-year-olds, though, and... Was it School of Rock? No. It was all in French. Like, it was a... It was a French movie. Ah. And, um... But all these kids were, like, super bad, and, like, the school was, like, su- Like, they didn't care anymore, you know? These eight-year-olds? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was, like, a boarding school. And... They might have been, like, ten. But... Then they had the dude made turned him into a choir, which was this exact same thing. The, yeah. The Whoopi Goldberg turned them into a choir, and then they like did a concert, and everybody was changed forever. But it was all in French, and it was really, really good. Yeah, I feel like like ninety nine percent of all movies about like like school that involve a music teacher are, like, basically the same movie. Yeah. Just, like, with tiny differences. Like, you know, oh, they're badass kids, then the teacher turns out to be really cool, and they all look up to the teacher, and there's a montage about them learning how to sing. Yeah. And then uh, they enter in some competition. Yep. And they either win first place, or they lose, but they learn a valuable lesson. Yeah, but there's, like, always that one person who, like... Like, the the worst person. Yeah. Like, the most misbehaved or something. Oh, yeah, who gets like, the lead. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and that's how it was in the French one. Mm-hmm. Um, and I can't remember it, but it was really, really good, and I need to look it up. But we're, this weekend is the is the FNHS movie party for this year, and we're watching a movie called Monsieur Lazar, mm-hmm. and it seemed like it was a school movie. I, I watched, like, half the trailer. I hate watching all of the trailer because I feel like I spoil too much of the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, like, once I'm hooked, I, I'm done with the trailer. Mm-hmm. But, um, it seemed like it was a movie that was in school, like, about a school. And gotcha, so, gotcha. Yeah, but that's the same day that our friend's Spend birthday party legs. is. Um, I don't know, actually. I never... I still can't decide if I'm gonna go to that. I got a lot of shit going on this weekend. Yeah, I don't know if you guys heard me, but we have a birthday party to go to on Friday. Yeah, I, okay, so today was, okay, so we have a four-day weekend from school. Mm-hmm. Today, I came over to he- here to record, and I'm spending the night. Tomorrow, I'm going over to my other friend's house to spend the night at 11 a.m., and it's, and I'm spending the night, and then Friday is my only, like, real day off. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I, well, obviously, I'm going to be at my friend's house for the morning, so I'm not going to do anything. And then I have that afternoon... And Sunday morning to get ready for a party that I'm having on Sunday. Mm-hmm. And then I have to work Saturday night. This week I have... So tomorrow I'm running errands. Tomorrow's Thursday. Mm-hmm. I'm running errands with Dylan because I have to get um, a costume and a present if I'm going to that party this weekend. Mm-hmm. And then um, and then I have to get... A let pumpkin? Me tag in on your present. Uh, yeah, maybe. Because uh, I think Dylan might. Uh, Dylan. I know. He had dibs first. Dude, this guy. Yeah, I was right here. Yeah. This oh, man, was... I was relatively right ish. Do you remember that? I remember him killing you, which I think is why I, I remembered it. And I died here before, and that's yeah. why you thought it was a, the other time. Okay, anyways. Yeah. 
So tomorrow I have to run around and do a whole bunch of errands. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then I feel like I have something going on tomorrow night, but I don't think I actually do. Mm -hmm. And then Friday, I either have the French movie party or that other party that I was invited to. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I have on Saturday is kind of my only real free day also. Um, but... I have a ton of homework, and then Sunday I'm going on, I'm going to the party that you're throwing. Mm -hmm. So, I kind of have, like, like stuff to do every day, but it doesn't take up my whole day. Mm -hmm. I hate, uh, I hate going to work and, like, being unprepared for what I'm going to do. What do you mean? Or, like, doing anything and not being, like, like prepared, not feeling prepared to do it. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if, if someone, like when you're supposed to do something you're supposed to be in charge and you're like not ready mm -hmm. or you don't have all the information mm -hmm. that's how I feel about work on Saturday I'm normally a hostess at the front of the house but on Saturday I'm supposed to bus and the bus boy gave me like a, a 12 second um like rundown of everything that I'm supposed to do mm -hmm. verbal rundown didn't show me where anything was or like oh. Any, like, he didn't show me how to do anything. And he does a bunch of busy work, which I feel like I also need to know. Mm -hmm. But he didn't tell me how to do it. So, uh, like, I just, I don't have anything to do. And, like, I don't know. It's super weird. And I don't, I don't feel prepared about it. Yeah. No, I hate things like that, like, where you know you have to go do them, but you like, you kind of want to back out because yeah. you're not prepared for yeah, it. Yeah, like, I, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, but then when you get there, you know it's probably going to be just fine. Yeah. And, yeah, that That's happens to me a lot. That's I am before work every day. I'm like, wow, I know nothing about hostessing. When I get there and I'm like, I want to go home. I'm, I'm so done with this. Yeah. That's how I felt the first time I went rock climbing with Dylan because I was like, I'm unprepared for this. I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what to wear. I don't know what to expect. And then I got there, and I was like, oh, this is fine. Mm -hmm. This is great. That's how I am um, with Poetry Out Loud, too. Yeah. Like, I hate, I hate that we do the three-turn thing. Okay, because, well, actually, I don't know. I hate and I love it. Because once I get up there and do my first poem. Yeah, tell them how it okay, works. Okay, so the, the way that it works is you do um, three to four rounds. And so the first round, everyone goes through, normally in alphabetical order, they, so one person, whoever is the first one, goes up, says their poem, and then sits back down. And we each have three poems, but they only say their first one. And then the next person goes, and then we go down the line. And then next round, the same people in the same order go up and recite their second poem. And then normally they eliminate some people, but then you go and you do the third round. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then the competition is finished. So, like, at, on some level, it really calms me after doing the first poem, because then I'm, like, used to being on stage, and I'm used to, like, performing in front of this crowd, but then on the other, it, it way, way, way prolongs the wait. Yeah. Like, like the amount of time that you s spend sitting there waiting for your turn is death. Because, like, you get back to your seat after your first poem, and you're like, all right, this is good. And then by the time, like, it's almost your turn for the second poem, mm -hmm. you're, like, you're not good anymore mm -hmm. again. And it it's freaky. Yeah, I've done poetry out loud. I, I've, I've done a total of six competitions, and it never gets any better. Okay, so look, these things called cold blood do, mm -hmm. they're uh, items that you can get that you, like, pick up places, mm -hmm. and... Um, they give you blood echoes. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah, so they're just, like, concentrated blood echoes. And they're good for things like, like, when I want to sit here and buy stuff, but I don't want to go out and, like, farm a whole bunch of blood echoes, or I just barely have, like, not enough yeah. to level up or something like that. They're really nice for that. And I know that I'm going to need a whole bunch of Molotovs for the next uh, boss fight that I do. Mm -hmm. Because I... That's how I kill this boss when he's in his third phase. Mm -hmm. And so I want to buy some. Because they're pretty rare drops. Okay. Cool. The next boss fight, if it takes did me a while. Did you set a timer? Uh, yeah, I did.
Oh, is it almost done? Yeah, in 10 seconds. Oh. All right. The next boss fight, if it takes me a while, it's going to, like, drain me from a whole, a whole bunch of stuff. Whoa. Like, like, bullets, blood vials, and molotovs. Alrighty, so next episode we're doing the boss? Yeah.